Niner Empire. Welcome back to another video. So, for one, I just want to apologize for not uploading a preview video to this Carolina Niners game. Um, I had stuff going on. Um, and then today, I honestly didn't even get to watch the game. It was probably the first game since I can remember where I haven't been able to watch a full-on Niners game. I watched the second quarter and a little bit of the first quarter, but where I was, I didn't have service, and um, I couldn't watch the game on uh, my phone because my Wi-Fi was screwed up and it wouldn't let me connect, and I was getting ticked off. Um, and then we were going to leave... Uh, where we were at like 5 o'clock-ish, um, and then we ended up staying till like 7, and I didn't have any other choice because I was with family, and um, obviously, you know how that goes. I didn't want to be that guy, so um, anyways, um, I did get to watch the highlights. I know exactly what happened during the game. I was getting updates here and there uh, because sometimes like we walk different places to where they would have service, uh, so... I'd get updates and stuff like that, but um, I got the. I uh, was watching the game um, when Tevin Coleman had his two touchdowns. It was the um, it was the first one he had, like the four yard rush, and then it was the second long uh, run he had on like that sweep run. Uh, I got to watch those two, and then of course the first update I got on my phone was uh, Emmanuel Sanders catching his first touchdown as a Niner. So that was awesome. I kind of figured he'd have a touchdown in this game. Because I kind of figured Jimmy was going to go to him. I figured they knew what to do in this game because they've been working, you know, all week since he got traded uh, on this game and, you know, on their chemistry and stuff. So I kind of knew that Sanders was going to have a touchdown in this game. So obviously um, I wasn't too worried about that. Uh, so anyways, um, but Nick Bosa absolutely – went off this game like if there's an MVP of this game it either have I mean I'd probably give it to Tevin Coleman but defensively it had to be Nick Bosa this guy was everywhere um and he got to Kyle Allen he had three quarterback hits he had three sacks um and then obviously the most badass play of the day the interception he had off the line Picked off Kyle on on a, on a uh, what was to go what was going to be a screen pass. Um, I mean, this guy came out and just destroyed in this game. Uh, Bosa is he is like a top five defensive lineman in the NFL right now, and the Niners have him on their, on 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 their team. Like this, this defensive lineman is the best in football by far. Um, I mean, Sherman had an interception. Emmanuel Mosley stepped up big time, which was probably uh, the most exciting thing to watch uh, because, um, you know, obviously Akella Witherspoon got hurt. Um, he will be back against Arizona, I do believe. I think we get a lot of people back next uh, on Thursday against Arizona. Um, and then, but yeah, Akella Witherspoon went down earlier this year. Emmanuel Mosley was questioned coming in. A lot of people didn't think that he was going to show out like he has been doing. But he picked off Kyle Allen. It was a perfect read, perfect play, and it was a, it was a hell of a pick um, for Emmanuel Mosley. So big shout-out to uh, Mosley uh, for that pick. And then obviously Sherman had one and Bosa had one. So Kyle Allen, keep in mind, Kyle Allen came into this game not having an interception at all. He was interception-free, had no interceptions. We forced three on him today and had, like, I mean, the, the thing is with this defense is no matter how good or, like, like, the, the what a lot of people don't realize is this offense has not played their best yet. We showed it, I mean, the, Kyle Shanahan showed a glimpse of it today about how well this offense can play, but the, he didn't bring out everything that he could have brung out on this Carolina defense. Um so, with the offense, they literally have to play mediocre at best to win football games um, because the defense is the reason we are 7-0. and I mean, I think, I think there's no question. I mean, there's been, there's been games where the offense stepped up big, like in this game, but what caused the offense to step up big was the defense getting turnovers and forcing three and outs and forcing punts and stopping them on the fourth down. So, 
we are 7-0 and because of our defense. I mean, the main reason is because of our defense, but Garoppolo is a game manager. He knows exactly what to do. He's a smart quarterback, and um, the Niners are lucky to have Garoppolo in our squad. But, um, I mean, as a whole, Tevin Coleman, four touchdowns on the day. Uh, like I said, Emmanuel Sanders stepped up big. Um, Raheem Mostert came in, and, I mean, <laughs> the scariest thing about this Niners team, yes, it's their defense, but... Their running back depth is, like, probably the best in the NFL. Uh, because Raheem Mostert is good enough to be a starter in this league. Matt Breida is 110% um, starting caliber. And obviously, Tevin Coleman, the veteran, he's always been a stud. He's the starting running back as of now. Uh, he is the starting running back as of now. So, we have a lot of running back depth. Um, and not only that, but, like, Kittle had almost 100 yards receiving today, which which really helped. Um, Debo Samuel had a, a touchdown on like a sweet play. So uh, Garoppolo had a poor interception um, that was just intended for Kittle straight to Kigley. Uh, intended for Kittle straight to Kigley. That's the best you can describe that. Um, it um, it looked like Kittle was running a tight end angle or like a tight end post. And Keegley was on it the whole time playing in the zone. Garoppolo didn't see it at all. Uh, well, he did, but just made a poor decision. I mean, it, it almost seems like he panics when he throws it because he knows it's a bad decision. Like, when that happens, just throw the ball out of bounds. Like, it's okay if we lose it down. I'd rather lose it down than an interception. Uh, so, poor, poor bad decision by Garoppolo. But with Garoppolo, he has bad mistakes, but he always finishes out strong, so I'm never really worried about Garoppolo. I mean, he's he's obviously a, a great quarterback. Obviously, he's a 7-0 and quarterback, 13-2 and as a starter now, 13-2 uh, and as a starter. So, people still question Garoppolo, do not know football whatsoever. He is a great quarterback, um, a, a stellar quarterback for this, uh, for this team. Fits perfectly in the scheme, knows the scheme, and is a game manager, and that's what you need in a quarterback. And, uh, like, and obviously, you know, he's getting the job done. So, Garoppolo, still good. Justin Skule, uh, you know, Lank Lakin Tomlinson, Weston Richburg, uh, all them guys, um, I'm leaving out names, but all them guys, Dan, uh, Briskul, or Bruskul, I think that's how you say his last name. Uh, but he, he stepped up big. I mean, this offensive line, we are thin at offensive line, considering, you know, we're missing Mike McGlinsey, our right tackle, and Joe Staley our veteran left tackle, but these guys that are coming in, the second stringers are stepping up big, and um, they're filling the shoes, like, as good as it could be, um, as perfect as it, you could ask for, so big help to the offensive linemen, um, and to Kyle Shanahan, I mean, he's a wizard, you can't stop his run schemes, you can't stop his run game, uh, so all in all, a dominant, another dominant performance from this Niners team, now, I was... In my prediction video, I was definitely going to say that this game was probably going to be uh, determined by at least a touchdown or less, uh, because I thought this was going to be a good game, um, and it was pure dominance from the, from the Niners' defense the whole way, um, and it's scary. I don't know how you can't put, I mean, I think it's arguable to put this Niners, this Niners' defensive front is better than the Steelers' uh, defensive front. They have, I mean, it is. I think the Niners got the number one D in the league. That's just me. I would love to see a New England Patriots versus San Francisco game. I would, I would, I'm hoping that if the Niners can get, you know, into the playoffs, and which I mean, it's looking pretty, pretty, uh, pretty promising right now, if I should say. But we got games to go. But I'm just gonna stay humble here. Um, once we do. If we do, once we do, get into the playoffs and make a run, I would love to see a 49ers-New England Patriots Super Bowl. I'm not saying I'm calling it. I'm not saying any of that. I'm just saying I would love to see Tom Brady versus Jimmy Garoppolo after the Patriots traded Garoppolo away for the guy that Belichick wanted over Tom Brady. I would love to see a matchup between them and the I mean, it, it's got to come sooner rather than later. Um, and uh, we'll see what happens, but... This NFL season has been a blast. Um, Niners fans are finally happy for the first time since, you know, 2014, 2013, 2012. The Harbaugh era. Um, at least when I was born. Obviously, people have been happy before then. But 
Um, it's refreshing knowing that your team is 7-0 and going into Arizona for Thursday night football. Getting your potentially, I think, my, I think Joe Staley's playing uh, on Thursday. McGlinchey might play. Um, and I think Hughes checks back, and I believe we're getting Akella Witherspoon back. So we've got big names coming back. And um, like I said, we're not even playing with our full team yet. And um, we got some we got some players coming back. So this Niners team isn't done yet. On to Arizona, 7-0. Let's go. Um, yeah, coming out with a preview video. I'm going to drop a preview video Tuesday night. Mark my word, Tuesday night dropping a preview video on the 49ers at Arizona Cardinals Thursday night football preview matchup. Count it, book it, schedule it, turn on notifications, give this video a like, and um, as always, oh yeah, and you guys already know, where I went, it was like this state park type thing, there was a bunch of shops, you already know I was rocking the Kittle jersey, it's every Sunday, every Sunday is uh, National Titans Day, so, with that being said, um, as always, Niners, 7-0. Defense is hot. And uh, we're not done yet. So give this video a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. As always, Niner Faithful. Good Niners.